I'm getting a lot of feedback recently from my uh, recent videos on uh, the, as I'm pushing the bees down into the single brood box um, I'm being asked how am I not inducing swarming how am I controlling my swarming this time of year and to answer that question um, you, ha you have to understand exactly what's going on this time of year well I'm talking up in the northern climate here too so this is this might be particular to my area of beekeeping here but it could apply to most other regions uh, the same principles apply pretty much universally uh, swarming the act of swarming isn't simply just um, an overly crowded box of bees swarming is an act of duplication like uh, that's the bees way of propagating themselves so in the spring if we find when we crowd the box that they'll swarm off but it's not just crowding you have to understand in the spring the bees are in the spirit of replicating themselves there's massive amounts of resources coming in that queen is looking for space to lay in she is growing that colony out and she's growing it out to be able to hatch out a huge nest to be able to swarm off and duplicate that colony. So in the spring we try to provide that queen with as much space as we possibly can to keep her unrestricted, keep her growing and to provide place to put that resource so that queen is never uh, restricted in, in her ability to lay eggs. Okay. In the fall, as we move into the fall, the bees' spirit changes. They, they change from, uh, from wanting to uh, propagate, to conservation, to preparing themselves for winter. Because they know winter's coming, so they're going to be very active in preparing themselves for winter. It's a totally different spirit change. They get hoard, they hoard. They uh, get very defensive, they start robbing, they, they'll scrounge for resources, they'll do whatever they can to, to prepare for themselves for winter. So they have no, they're not thinking even the slightest bit of swarming, even when I take those bees and restrict them down into the single box. That queen is restricting her laying, she lays her winter nest according to uh, the amount of resources coming in, the amount of bees within the nest. Uh, the colony condition, uh, disease, you know, disease, all these things come together for that colony to produce their winter nest. Um, you're going to notice when she restricts her laying, like when my, my arrangement here, this whole bottom box will be full of brood. When I come and pull these boxes off, this whole bottom box is full of brood to the point where there's no, <clears throat> there's no honey resource there at all. There's some pollen around the outside. What I do by managing in single boxes is if there's nine or 10 frames of brood down the bottom, if there wasn't a queen excluder here, she would be laying those nine or 10 frames between the two boxes, right? Mostly. It'd be kind of like a pear shape, kind of like that. Resource on the top, brood like this, but I'm putting this queen excluder in here and I'm holding that queen down in the bottom box. So I'm forcing her out sideways both ways. And by doing that, she uses that whole bottom box as a nest and she pushes all the resources up on top. Okay, and by pushing all the resources on top, that, that allows me, that, that's one way that I can capitalize on absolutely every little bit of honey that comes in. I take that honey and I sell it. So now this bottom, I take these top boxes away, take the resources away. The bottom box is now completely brewed and pulling around the outside. Very little honey down here. I'll find what I've been going through I've been I've gone through over a thousand hives now and I'm happy to see one frame of honey in these nests and I have to be very careful these colonies don't starve out because they're big nests I strip their honey away just out of all of a sudden automatically take their honey away so I have to make sure I get sugar down into them into that nest It'll be nine or ten frames of brood down here but it's gonna start hatching out and she's not gonna be looking for that space anymore she's not searching out the space to lay the eggs because she's preparing her winter nest. She's only going to be looking for four or five frames to lay in to produce her winter nest. Okay, so she's not actively looking for space. I'll feed them a little bit and I'll fill the outside of that colony out. I'll rim them nicely with uh, syrup uh, to set them up um, to promote a nice healthy uh, brood nest. They'll raise their winter nest 
four or five frames of brood in the center here and then when they hatch out I'll plug them full of syrup and send them into winter. So there is absolutely no thought towards swarming whatsoever because their whole um, behavior this time of year uh, is directed totally towards uh, preparing their nest for winter. So that is one of the uh, that is one of the behaviors of the bee that I'm taking advantage of. I'm managing these hives by manipulating their behavior and just by understanding their behavior this time of year I'm able to manipulate them to be able to achieve absolute brilliance from these bees.